Boker Tov, Yom Tov, Zareem Tovim, and Laila Tov. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening. This is Carrie, and I'm going to speak from my heart in a place of pondering. Something that I am pondering <laughs> that I wanted to share with you. What if materialism is also connected to our bodies? Those of us that choose the spiritual path do not focus on the material realm, meaning that we do not chase after possessions when we have a rightly relationship with them. But how many of us still cling to our flesh as that has been manifested in the material realm? The flesh is what operates in the matrix in order to have an experience and to attach to the narratives that we play our part in our roles in the drama. So the flesh is still part of the material realm and the masks that we wear. So the roles that we play are connected to the grand drama that we are hypocrites within, as hypocrite is actually the meaning of the word actor, playing a part, which isn't really us. It's not our true self because we have roles and the fear of loss, the fear of losing our flesh, the fear of losing our masked identity is that which hinders us from being our authentic self. The ego needs a role to play in these narratives that have been created for us for our amusement and or our learning. Light has no ego. It just is. So in order to be the light of the world, we need to remove our masks and stop identifying with the roles that our flesh and ego take upon them. Because we are so much more than that. Light is. We are, as is, light. So embrace the light and not the flesh. This is when we truly free ourselves from the ego matrix identity. You are not what you wear. You are not your flesh suit. You are light and love having an experience. We are one light, one love. We are one. Shalom, shalom and namaste.